This army of zombies are about to attack! So we need to build Mikey and JJ's family a secure underground bunker. Will JJ and Mikey survive the attack? Louis, we should get building right now, and I have the perfect plan for what I'm going to build. All right, Pip. Well, how about you come over here? We're going to get started building our secure bunkers. These are supposed to be extremely secret, meaning that the zombie army will not be able to find us. Come on, Pip, help me. Wait, Louis, why are you making it here? This is such a horrible spot. Wait, what do you mean, Pip? This spot is the best spot. It's right in the middle, and I can put a bunch of secure traps inside of it. No, Louis, this is a horrible spot. I'm going to build it over here. What? But I thought we were working. Working together. Well, I think mine's gonna be better than yours anyway, so I'm just gonna build by myself. All right, Pip. Well, you're on. We shall build separate bases from each other, and we will see who survives in the end. I'm just going to be building this massive tunnel leading down into the underground. This way, I can start building the secure traps inside to keep this bunker as safe as possible. After all, my bunker needs to protect JJ's entire family from the zombie army. And your bunker, Pip, is going to have to protect Mikey's family. Don't forget that. Don't you worry, Louie. Mikey's family is safe with me. All right, Pip. Well, I'll let you keep building your bunker right now whilst I keep digging down into the ground. I want to see how... How far I can dig. Maybe I have to go a little bit further. This far should do. So let's do it all the way around, just like this. Pip, you know my bunker is going to be extremely secure, right? I mean, I'm a pro after all. Louis, your base isn't going to be as secure as mine. After all, I'm building my secure base out of pro blocks. Wait, what do you mean pro blocks, Pip? Oh, just the best blocks in the game. Oh, wait, so like obsidian and iron and a bunch of concrete? Red specifically? No, Louis, those are noob blocks. I'm building with pro blocks. I'm building with dirt. Oh my gosh, Pip, you should know by now with all of the times your bases have gone wrong that dirt does not protect well against zombie armies. It will this time. Oh, we'll see about that, Pip. But anyways, guys, I've dug down far enough and I think I'm going to do a really cool spiral staircase right here. I'll just go ahead and build it up from the middle like this. But before I do that, I'm getting a little bit lazy building this, so I'm going to show you guys something I learned. If I go and type wand into my creative inventory, I can get this thing called a wand of symmetry. And what it does is it reflects blocks onto both sides, so I can build a lot faster. But what I'm going to do is go into the settings of it and switch it around like this so it places on all four sides. Now I can start on the walls of my secure bunker. And all I have to do is do one side and it builds all the rest of them up around me. This is the most efficient and fastest way to build in Minecraft, guys. I'll have these walls done on my bunker in no time. And then I can start on my spiral staircase and secret traps. Let's just keep building up to the surface with these pro iron blocks. These are extremely strong, and there is no way the zombies will be able to get past it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just build some iron blocks for the ground too, like this. Now, we have a large iron tunnel going down into the ground, and this is extremely strong. But now we have this massive hole going down into the ground. It's time to actually start on my spiral staircase. So I will get some obsidian out of my inventory and also some red concrete because these are the best blocks in the game. They are extremely strong. As you can see, obsidian is really cool looking. And if you guys didn't know, it's blast proof. Meaning if you threw TNT down into this hole, it won't explode. But now what I'm going to do guys, is I'm going to start on my spiral staircase. I will be doing it in this pattern like this. As you can see, I will place some slabs and then a block right after each other. This means that my spiral staircase will work like a staircase. I won't have to jump up the block. I can just walk up and down. Anyways, Pip, what are you working on for the entrance of your secure bunker? Oh, Louie, my base is gonna be so secure. I have a sign right outside my bunker that says not a secret bunker. So if anyone thinks it's a secret bunker, they'll read the sign and realize it's not a secret bunker. Um, Pip, I don't know about you, but I don't think that the zombies will be able to read. They might just come to your base ignore the sign, and then walk directly inside and eat Mikey's family like candy! Oh, uh, 
Should I put more signs so, so they don't miss that one? Oh, Pip, when will you learn that zombies cannot read? I guess you could put a lot more signs around your base, but I really don't think they'll do anything. You need some real traps that will kill the zombies when they arrive. Well, Louis, I'm going to start my traps right now. I think you don't even have any traps yet. Um, well, I don't, Pip. That's the thing. But I have an awesome spiral staircase going all the way down into my base now. This means the zombies are going to have to do a ton of walking to get up and down. They might just get way too bored and leave. So I guess you could count that as the first trap. But anyways, I'm going to go all the way down my spiral staircase, and I'm going to start on some real traps. I will start it at the bottom of my spiral staircase. I'll just wall off this section here so I can't go back there and get stuck behind the stairs. Now, I'll go ahead and build a massive doorway going out here, and I'm thinking something like a secure tunnel with some spikes and lasers. The zombies will never get down here. Wait, a, a secure tunnel? I, I need to check this out, Louis. Okay, Pip. I'm pretty sure you said you didn't want to help me, but if you want to, this would be really nice. W what's going on here, Louie? Oh, you have this cool-looking staircase. Yep, it's extremely cool, and it will keep me safe from all those zombies, Pip. I don't know about your entrance. But how is this supposed to be a trap, Louie? They can just walk right down. Well, I guess they could, but they might get bored doing it, which is why it's the best trap yet but I'm working on some real traps to keep these zombies out. Look at this massive space that I've dug out on the inside here. What do you think? Why are you making such a massive tunnel? Well, Pip, this is supposed to be a secure tunnel. This keeps my base safe from all of those zombies. And I'm going to be replacing all of the walls with some really secure iron blocks. Or maybe some obsidian. What do you think? A secret tunnel is a really good idea. I, I should do that. Wait, Pip, come back. Oh, no. Pip just got the best idea. And it was all because of me. Now Pip is going to be building a really, really good good trap idea. I should go and check on it in a few minutes and see if Pip actually does build something good for once. But anyways, look at all of this space that I've built inside of this secure tunnel. Now it's just a case of using my wand of symmetry. I'm going to set it up just like this so it faces the wall. And now if I place blocks on this side, it will rotate it onto the other side too, which means we will have an extremely strong room. This room is going to be filled with spikes and lasers, and I'm going to set it up with redstone so that the lasers turn on and off, and the zombies will have to dodge through the entire room to get out. I will build the roof out of obsidian. This way, if there's any TNT or explosions, the zombies won't be able to get through and kill us. And there we go. We now have the inside of this room built out, but Maybe I should build the floor out of obsidian too. This way, if any creepers come in, they cannot destroy the spikes that I'll be placing on the ground. I'm getting really proud of this base, guys. I'm extremely excited to see what this will look like once it's completed. But now, I'm going to add a really cool pattern to the wall. This is because I am red, and I love the color red. So I'll be having it in my base. Now, guys, it's time for me to start working on these spikes. So let me just get some out of my inventory here. And I said we would be using some lasers as well, so I will be grabbing them. And also, I'll be getting something called a mode upgrade, like this. Now, all I have to do is place some lasers along the walls like this. These will turn on and off when I power them with redstone. Now, I'll place this mode upgrade on the inside and set it to power. As you can see, guys, if I now get a lever and turn it on and off, it will look super cool. Cool and secure. Those zombies will walk through the lasers and take a ton of damage. I will now replace all of these lasers with the same mode upgrades so that they all look the same. And I'll also do it on the other side, just a little closer to the ground so it gets the zombies caught in it. Now, I need to start on the redstone device that makes all of the lasers turn on and off. So let's go around the back and make some space. You guys should know by now that I'm a redstone genius. I know exactly how I'm going to build this trap. These zombies will have no chance. Since this is the first trap, I need to make sure that it's one of the strongest. This way, if any zombies get near my base, they will die before they can reach the vault that holds JJ and Mikey's families. Hey, Louie. 
You're not supposed to be protecting Mikey's family. What's going on here? Well, Pip, I totally have faith in your build. That's for sure. I just don't know how safe JJ and Mikey are going to be if they're inside of your base. You'll see, Louie. It's going to be amazing. You just haven't realized my potential yet. Okay, Pip. Uh, I believe you, I guess. But I really hope that you will be able to keep Mikey's family safe. I don't want to have to be protecting them all the time. But now, guys, as you can see, I have created a redstone system out of these observer blocks. So as you can see, there are rows of observers going across. This just carries the redstone signal round in a circle. It's going to be really cool. And it activates these ones along the way, which should activate my lasers in a line like that. Look how awesome that is. Now, I just need to do the exact same thing on the other side of my room. So, let's get started on it right now. I have cleared out a ton of space behind this area, and now we can get started. So, all I have to do is place a ton of observers like this, and use my special debug stick to get it to face the correct way, like this. The way you can tell it's facing the right way is if it looks angry at you. That means it's looking at me. This is the way that the observer will be observing, if you get what I'm saying. Now, I need to place a row of them along like this. Then I have to place some redstone like this and get a redstone repeater. This will carry the signal of the redstone around. And now I need a trap door to finish it off. So I'll place it there. And now I just need to place some observers coming in the opposite direction. And now I will place another row of observers going down this way. And there we go. Now that I've done that, this trap should work. So let me just activate it like this. And now it should go around in a circle and activate this trapdoor again. So now if I come to this side, it should be working. Now there is a big line of lasers that comes through this base. And the only way to dodge it is by standing in the middle of these blocks like this. This way you can stay safe. Now all I have to do is close up this area right here so that I cannot see any of the redstone behind there. Now, this room is complete, and it's time for me to work on my second trap, which I think should be a TNT sand room. You'll see what I mean in a second. Wait, Louie, I heard you talking about TNT and sand. What is that supposed to do? Well, Pip, if you come down into my base, I'll show you. Oh, there you are. Um, cool lasers, Louie, but I don't have time to look at these. What are you working on? Well, I just put some TNT inside of this wall, and I'm about to explode it so I can make some room to start on my next room. Here we go. Louie, don't accidentally blow up your secret bunker. I won't, don't you worry. Even if I did, it's made out of extremely strong blocks, so it will not break. But anyways, I've cleared out a ton of space, and now I need to clear out a little bit more. But why are you doing this, Louie? Well, the inside of this next trap has to be inside of a massive room. So I need to clear out as much space as possible. A massive room? What are you putting in here? A dragon? Uh, not a dragon, but sand and TNT, which is extremely strong when you put them together. Let me show you what I mean by that. Louis, you've been digging for ages, but you still haven't explained what this is. Well, Pip, as you can see, I've cleared out a massive space, and I'll explain it to you right now. So if I get some TNT and I get some sand, I'll show you what this means. So, if I put some TNT in the middle of this room, and then I put some sand on the top, and then a pressure plate above it, you'll see what I mean by this. If I stand on top of this pressure plate, the TNT will explode, and the sand will fall, dropping me through it. And now it will explode and kill anything that fell into it. But how is that going to be useful, Louie? Well, Pip, I'm glad you asked. I'm going to get some lava, meaning that whenever something falls in through that trap, they will land in a massive pit of lava, killing them all instantly. Meaning the zombies will not be able to get through this room no matter how hard they try. Whoa, that's actually a really good idea, Louie. But you know what? That actually gives me a good idea for my next trap. Bye, Louie. I want to use lava as well. Nice, Pip. Keep stealing my ideas. Every single time they come over here and check out one of my traps, they always decide they want to steal something of it. But it's no matter. Pip is a noob and I'm a pro, meaning that my base is going to be extremely good. 
Oh, but I wish Pip didn't leave. Placing in all of this lava is taking such a long time. But it's fine, because I've just placed in all of my lava. I just need to fill in these gaps in the wall. I think I should replace all of these ugly stone blocks and all of these holes in the wall. This will make my room look a lot better. I just need to find the center. And that should be right here. And now that I've placed this block in the middle, I can use my wand of symmetry once again to make this entire room into whatever I want it. And I have a really good idea. I'm going to use some light blue concrete to make this look like the outside. I'll get some white too, and I'll also get some lime concrete for some trees. You'll see what I'm building in a second. All I have to do is get some lime terracotta too for the ground, and some oak logs for some trees. And now, I can start on making this entire room look like it's outside. Wow. So let's go ahead and replace all of these blocks on the wall with blue concrete, just like this. And this will be the color for the sky. And I'm going to have to place it around this room as quickly as possible, because those zombies will be coming any minute. And I need to make sure I have enough traps to protect me for as long as possible. I'm almost now finished with the outside of my wall. And there we go. Now, let's go ahead and build in the roof, too. We cannot be having a weak roof. That's why I'm building it out of blue concrete. Because as you guys know, concrete is an extremely strong block, which means that the zombies will not be able to break through it, and I'll be able to stay protected. Now, guys, I'm going to get some yellow concrete because I just had a really good idea. I can place in yellow concrete like this on the roof, and this makes it look like the sun is up. Maybe this will scare the zombies away and they will not want to mess with my base. But anyways, I'm going to now remove some space in the wall so that I can get to the end of my room and get inside. This room is coming along beautifully. Now I just need to place some white concrete like this and this will look like clouds in the sky. Doesn't this look amazing? This room makes me feel like I'm outside, which will be really good for JJ's family because they will want to feel like they're not inside of a secret bunker surrounded by zombies. And there we go. Now that we've placed in all of these clouds, I can now place in some green concrete. And this will be the grass. And I'll make sure to make this wall look extremely nice and hilly. This way, JJ's family will feel like they're still outside in nature. And they'll be very happy. I love building my bases out of obsidian, iron, and these concrete blocks. It just makes them look so much better than whatever Pip builds every time. It's always dirt. Every single time. Anyway, that's because dirt is the best. Look, I'm literally making a farm inside of my traps. Wait, you're making a farm inside of your traps? I guess this room can wait a little longer. I need to see what Pip's been working on for the time being. Let me just come out of my spiral staircase and see. Is that okay, Pip? Sure, let me come check out my secret bunker. All right, I'm outside of my bunker now. What is this supposed to be? Um, not a secret bunker? Try to find the entrance. Um, Pip... I don't know about you, but I think your entrance has something to do with this trapdoor right here. And it seems I was correct. This is a secret door that goes inside. All right, but Louie, you might have found that entrance, but can you find my second entrance? Why do I feel like it has something to do with this lava in this room? Or maybe this lava going into this block in the middle. And I was correct. That was all fake lava, which took me into the bottom of your base. Louie, how are you getting through this so quick? This is so annoying, but time to do the rest of the secret bunker. Okay, well, Pip, I've already gotten through about two of your traps. These zombies are going to have no problem getting inside. All right, well, if they get past those traps, there's no way they're getting past these next traps. Okay, let's take a look here. It seems like you have some lasers that turn on and off, but... Pip, I could just walk around them like this. Yep, but zombies can't jump. Um, uh, but Pip, they can swim. Well, Louis, that's where you're wrong. This water is not real water. It's fake water. Fake water? Yep, that means if the zombies go in the water, they aren't swimming for very long. They're gonna be burning. Let me take a look. I'm going to switch into survival mode and take a dip. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, 
I guess that trap is pretty good. Yep, I'm a pro, Louie. You wouldn't have thought of that for your secret base. I mean, you? I wouldn't have, Pip, but at least I thought about reinforcing my walls and my roof. If there's any explosions that happen, your base will be crumbling to the ground. Oh, Louie, it'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Anyways, what is this next trap right here? All right, so remember when you said the zombies can't read? Um, yes, Pip. Well, I did a trap that abuses that. Well, I made this laser wall right here, Louie. Wait a second, Pip. But if those lasers do damage, how are you going to get past and get to your secret rooms at the end? Well, Louie, it's simple. Just read the sign. Wait, this? Wait a second. You put no damage upgrades in some of these lasers, which means that you can walk through them and take no damage. That is actually a really good idea, Pip. I'm actually kind of proud of you for once. Thank you, Louie. I told you my secret bunker was better than yours. All right, it seems like you've got another fake laser over here, too. So what is this at the end? All right, Louie, if the zombies somehow make it to here, they cannot get past this trap. This trap, you'll need to find the secret code. Come on, Louie, do you think you can find the secret code? Why do I have a strange feeling that the secret code is in this chest? Oh, never mind. This chest? Oh, this one! Okay, Pip, I'm not going to read your secret code just now because I want to play through your base when the zombies attack. But I'm assuming you've built your farm at the end over there. All right, Pip, but you've got a lot of traps. I only have two so far, which means I need to start working on mine. Yep, Louie, stop slacking. Oh, Pip, you've got a ton of small and really, really weak traps. I'm going to have fewer, but a lot better traps, okay? Well, keep dreaming, Louie, because you're going to need to be dreaming to beat me. Oh, well, look at this, Pip. Come over here and tell me whether you think the zombies will get through this one. This will be way better than your really obvious door. As you can see, I'm not using regular ladders, but bunker ladders. These are extremely strong and will keep the zombies from breaking them off when they get into my base. But, Louie, how are bunker ladders going to keep your base secure? I don't get it! Oh, you'll see in a second, Pip. That's not all. I'm going to be using these secret trap doors like this. And as you can see, they are really difficult to spot. And I don't think the zombies will see them. All I have to do now is just fill in all of these blocks here with real iron blocks. But wait a second, how is this supposed to keep your base secure, Louie? You'll see in a second, Pip. I'm building these trapdoors up on the sides like this. And this way, it's going to look like there's absolutely nothing here. And the zombies will probably just walk past this. It just looks like nothing after all. But when I want to go inside, all I have to do is open up these secret trapdoors and just waltz inside with no issues at all. I'll close them behind me. And since these trapdoors are made out of iron as well, the zombies won't be able to break in once they're closed. Whoa, well, Louis, that's so cool. Those zombies are going to have no chance against your base. Yep, thank you very much, Pip. But how about you go back to your base and keep working on your traps? I need to work on one of these trap rooms that I've been working on for a while now. Oh, you're right, Louis. I can't be wasting time. The sun is going down soon after all. And when that sun goes down, JJ and Mikey need to be secure inside of our bunkers or else it's over for us. We're doomed. Guys, I'm going to have to build these traps really quickly. I don't have much time left, but now I'm just going to make it look a little nicer on the transition between these rooms so that you can't see any dirt and only concrete. But now, as you can see, I've made my way into the next room and I'm going to show you exactly what this room is. But now, guys, what I'm going to do is place a bunch of TNT like this. As you can see, it will not explode because it is a special type of TNT that doesn't take damage from lava and explode everywhere. The only time it will explode is if it is powered with a redstone signal, which will be our pressure plates. But what I'm going to do is make this TNT room extremely strong. I'm going to make it into some sort of maze. This way, only I am the one who knows how to get through it. I just need to keep placing all of this TNT and have this room done in no time. And there we go. I finished placing all of my TNT. But now I need to start working on a way through this room. And I think I'm going to put my door at the end over here. I'll make it three blocks wide because I'm going to make a large tunnel that goes into another trap. 
to protect JJ and Mikey. But all I have to do now over here is start on my trap. What I'm going to do is use these sand and smooth red sandstone blocks. This way, I can make a path across. I'll just get rid of some TNT where I want my path to be. I want it to turn and, and do zigzags like this. This way, the zombies have to walk the long way around to get into my real base. And now that I have a path dug out, all I have to do is place these red sandstone blocks up here. This is going to be the way through. These blocks will not fall or set off any TNT. This means if I want to stay safe, I just have to walk over the ones that are the red sandstone. Let's go ahead and place these stone pressure plates on top as well, just so that I know that this is the right way. And now, if I place down some sand, this is where the real trap comes in. The sand ones will fall down into the lava and explode, which means I have to be really careful while building this. To find my way through this room, all I have to do is look at the space around the pressure plates. This way, I can see if this is the correct one to stand on. And then I have to walk all the way around and into my next room. Let's fill up this area right now with a ton of sand and pressure plates. This way, my trap will be set and the zombies will be no wiser. Which means they will all die instantly. But now that I'm building this sand, I wonder what Pip's up to. Wait a second. Is that a camera inside of my room? What's going on here? Louie, I see you. Wait a second. Have you rigged up cameras inside of my base so you can see where I am? Of course not, Louie. That would be bad. I would never do that. Oh my gosh, Pip. You totally did that. But you know what? That gives me a really good idea for my next trap. I should surround my base with cameras so that I can see all of the mobs and all of the zombies when they're arriving. You know, Louie, I just put my cameras on the inside of my bunker because it's better than the outside. Okay, but wait a second, Pip. If you put cameras on the inside of our bases, how will we know if the zombies are going to attack? That's why I'm going to place a ton of cameras outside once I'm finished with this trap. Well, good luck with that, Louie. But you're still not going to have a better base than me. Oh, we'll see about that, Pip. Guys, you have to help me. How about if my base is better than Pip's right now, you like the video. I'll be checking how many likes there are at the end of this video. All right, but now that I've done all of this sand, I have to do the press. Pressure plates too. This might take a while. And done. Now I've got the entire inside of my room sorted. Now it's time to put some cameras around my base, just like I said I would. Let's get started right now. I'll just take this camera here and get myself a camera monitor. This way, I can set them up to the camera monitor and check around my base at all times. So I'm going to start from the top of my base, and I think I'll make a big pillar coming out of the top. This will be my security system where I can see all around my base. And I'm also going to do something really cool. I think you guys will love this. I'm going to get this thing called a bearing. Just bear with me, guys. Now, I'm also going to get this thing called a clutch and something called a creative motor. This will power this machine. Now, all I have to do is place the motor here with the clutch underneath. And then I have to place this mechanical bearing. And as you can see, it all spins around. All I have to do now is just place a lever down like this to stop it. And then I have to get some glue in my inventory. This will hold all of the blocks together so they all spin at the same time, just like this. Now, all I'm going to do is place one of my security cameras on this wall, and I'll set it up to my camera monitor, like this. So now, I can go into it, and look, there I am! Woohoo, guys, look at me! Don't I just look so handsome? And now, if all goes well, if I unswitch this lever, my camera will... Oh no, it'll break. But this spinning device gives me a good idea. I could place a bunch of blocks of iron all around my base like this. And now if I switch it on, it's kind of like I have a radar system at the top of my bunker. All I have to do now is just build some walls around it so that it looks like a really super secret spy bunker. Doesn't this look amazing, guys? Comment down below if you absolutely love it. But what I'm going to do now is get some secret doors. This way, I can place these on the side, and no one will know any wiser that they're there. 
but I do. And I can open them up just like this and come inside. And now what I'm going to do is take some obsidian to reinforce it. And I'm going to put it around the outsides here. This way it looks like it's extra secure and it will add to the security of my bunker. It doesn't really look like too much of a secret bunker from the surface, but this is why I added these fake doors. This way it just kind of looks like a block that does nothing. But when I want to go in, I can open my doors and go inside. Hmm, my radar is spinning a little too slow. What if I want to make it spin faster? I can go underneath like this and set it to spin at light speed. Whoa! Look how fast it's going! Louis, what is that? Um, Pip, this is my super secure spy bunker. And it's got a radar system that will detect anything from miles away. That's why it's spinning so fast. Louis, we're supposed to make secure bases, not helicopters. Oh, well, I guess you are right about that. Let me just try and jump inside and turn it off. And, ooh, whoa, it's going a little too fast. I don't want to get hit. I'll get a concussion. Let's just slow it down nice and slow. And there we go. It's back to being a normal radar system. Phew, Louis, that was close. But you wish your base could be as secure as me. Just look at my base over here. I hired a bunch of security guards. Um, I don't know about you, Pip, but snow golems don't do any damage. So when the zombies come, they will have snowballs thrown at their faces, but they won't die to them. Your security guards are basically useless. Oh, sure they will, Louie. And if the zombies don't die from them, they'll die from Mikey's family. What? You're putting Mikey's family on the outside? I, I don't know about you, Pip, but I think these are imposters. They do not look like Mikey's real family. They're right over here. Look! Wait. Even better, maybe the zombies will go after this fake Mikey's family instead of the real Mikey's family. I don't think so. After all, Mikey's family and JJ's family are extremely famous. Those zombies will know their faces as soon as they see them. And that, Pip, is why I think we need these camera systems outside of our base. I'm going to place not one, but two and three and four cameras around the outskirts of my base. This way, I can see if there are any zombies trying to attack. Just like this. As you can see, I can see you, Pip, from my base. Which is really good, because that means the zombies won't be able to know that I'm watching them. Oh, Louie, look what I have. Wait, what is that, Pip? Are you holding a bow and arrow? Don't shoot my camera. Whoa! This is what you get for stealing my camera idea, Louie. Whoa! I'm told I wasn't stealing, Pip. I wasn't stealing, I promise. Fine. Well, just because you have cameras on the outside of your base, Louie, does not make your base secure. Oh, well, you are right about that, Pip. I need to make one more trap and then a room inside to keep JJ's family safe. Thanks for the idea. All right, guys, let's go back down my spiral staircase and start on a third trap. And I think I have a really good idea. I'm going to build a dropper that kills anything that falls inside. This means all of the zombies will die and I'll be the only one who knows how to get to my base. So let's go ahead and clear out a little tunnel and then fill it up with iron blocks to keep it secure. I just need to get my iron blocks back in my inventory once again. Let's fill in the outsides of these walls walls with iron like this. And there we go. This is looking amazing. Iron is super secure and totally pro. I absolutely cannot wait to see how the zombies react to my base. They will have no chance of getting inside. And I really doubt Pip will be able to either. It seems Pip has already given up by putting cameras inside of my base. But anyways, guys, now I need to dig out a massive area to build my dropper room. Let's get started on it right now. Louis, what is a dropper? Well, Pip, I'm glad you asked. A dropper basically means a really tall room that you have to fall down without dying. As you know, zombies are really dumb and will fall directly in and just die because I'm going to put some spikes at the bottom. Let me just grab them for later. But what are spikes supposed to do, Louis? If the zombies jump into the spikes, they'll just jump right out. Well, that's the thing, Pip. I'm going 
going to make my room extremely tall, and I'll make the exit to my dropper room a little bit higher up than the spikes, meaning that if anything falls in, it cannot get out. Well, I guess it's a good idea, Louis. Absolutely it is, Pip. I cannot wait to show you this dropper room. It's going to be amazing, and everybody watching at home will be able to make one once they learn how I build it. All I have to do is just make my room a little bit bigger, so I'm going to be a little bit lazy and use some admin commands. I hope Pip didn't hear that, guys. I'll go all the way over here, and I'll select this block right here. And then all I have to do is do slash slash cut. And that will remove all of these blocks. All I have to do now is just go all the way down into the underground. And then do the same command to cut out a large area like this. I'll go ahead and make the room the same dimensions on both sides. And there we go. We now have the same amount of space on that side as that side. Now what I'm going to do is make these walls into obsidian like this. This way, this room will not explode because it's right next to that TNT room. If we are not careful, the zombies may explode our entire room here. So we need to make sure that it's extra safe with all this obsidian to stop it from exploding. But now that I put all of this obsidian down, this room is looking awesome. Now all I have to do is place down the water that I'll be landing in. And I think I'll place it right here. Let's just get some water and place it into this hall. And then reinforce it with some iron blocks like this. Now I'll do what I said I was going to do. I'm going to make this room a few blocks further down so anything that falls in cannot get out. I'll go ahead and use some admin commands, guys. Do not tell Pip. I'll just cut out some of these areas down here. I think I'll make it three blocks further down, just like this. This means that if anything falls into this hole, it will not be able to jump out. And I will reinforce the underground area here with some obsidian. This means that even if like a creeper fell in, it would not be able to explode its way out, even if it tried. I will fill in all of these blocks with this pro obsidian. And this way, my bunker is extra secure and can keep JJ safe and will keep him secret from the zombies so that they do not know he's down here. But maybe they will smell him and that's not good. There we go. I've gone ahead and built the dropper area. We will jump down into this pool and then I will be able to go through here into the living quarters. This is where I'll put my armory and a bunch of entertainment for JJ. But before I do that, I need to work on this room here. I'm going to replace the ground here with obsidian too. So let's do that. There we go. And now it's time to fill in all of these empty obsidian block spaces here with a bunch of spikes. If I get some zombie spawn eggs and put them inside from the top, let's see if they will die. Here we go. Let's drop a zombie onto our trap and it dies instantly. This is perfect. This way we know that our trap is 100% going to work. Let's just finish placing all of these spikes and then we will be ready. As you can see now, guys, I've placed all of these spikes. And if I place a ton of zombies, they will all just fall and die meaning they will not be able to get to the next part of my base over here. But just in case they manage to jump far enough, let's put some cobwebs down to slow their fall. This way, it will take longer for them to get inside of my base. And also, it will make it a little harder just in case any players want to get inside and grief it. That means destroy everything I've worked so hard to build. These cobwebs should be able to grab anybody, and then it will slow their movement down so they won't be able to run towards the water in time. This means that once I leave the cobwebs, I will be falling into the spikes. No! This is perfect, guys. The mobs will have no chance of getting inside. I think my base is a lot more secure than Pip's, but we'll have to see at the end once I go and check out Pip's base once and for all. But now that this dropper area is completed, it's time to build my secret bunker area. And this is where JJ's family will live. I need to make sure that it's very spacious. This way, they will be able to stretch their legs and enjoy their time down in the bunker. I want to give them enough space to run around and enjoy their lives. I think I can find a much quicker way to build this. Let's just make this room one block wider and use the Wand of Symmetry. I need to find out how many blocks I want my room to be, and I think it will be about 10 by 10. So I will count out 10 blocks like this. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'll place my wand of symmetry down in the middle. This means it will replace all the blocks in all directions. Now it is time to go ahead and dig out the space that I'm going to need for this room. Let's go ahead and make it quite wide. So I'll go all the way to this block right here and dig all the way to the end. This many blocks should be enough. So let's just keep digging like this. And by the end of it, with the help of the Wand of Symmetry, we should have a massive square room. Just like that. And now, as you can see, guys, we have an extremely large room being built in here. I just need to go ahead and get rid of all of these extra pieces of blocks and make it into a large cave area like this. I'll go ahead and just fill in all of these blocks on the side. This way, we will not see any caves seeping in from the outside. Let's just go ahead and fill in all of these blocks here. I'll do it out of stone as well so that it fits the cave aesthetic. Now that I've filled in this entire room, it's time to get started on working on the entrance. And this is where their bedrooms and living space will be. I will go ahead and use admin commands to make this roof a little bit taller because I think they will need their space just like this. And now I will fill in these walls with some really cool blocks. Let's just fill in these with obsidian. And now I have to think about what JJ is going to like. And from my experience, knowing that JJ is red, he will also love a red room. So let's make this room out of red wool. I can afford to build it out of weaker blocks now because this is so much further down into my bunker that nothing will get here. Now it's time to fill in these walls with some really cool blocks. And I'm going to use the set command to set it to these really cool stripped birch logs. As you can see, this looks amazing. It looks really luxurious, meaning JJ is going to be living a life like a king. If he's down in my bunker, he has to know that he will be safe. So I will replace the entire roof with iron blocks. This way, they will not have to worry about the roof caving in. Let's replace all of the blocks on this wall with obsidian. This way, if any zombies get in, they will not have to worry about zombies breaking in through the walls. Oh, Pip! How's your base coming along right now? I'm sure mine's coming along amazingly, and I don't really know about yours. Oh, Louie, I'm starting on Mikey's base right now. All right, Pip. I'm on my way into your base to see what this looks like. I might have to break through a few of your traps, though. I'm very sorry. Oh, Louis, you're gonna pay for that. Uh, don't worry. It probably doesn't cost very much anyways. Let's see what you've built for Mikey. Come over here, Louie. All right. Well, as you know, Pip, I've built an extremely luxurious room. And no, what is this? Well, is something wrong, Louie? Well, Pip, I've built a really luxurious room out of iron blocks, stripped oak logs, and a bunch of red. And all you've done for Mikey's family is add green concrete? That's it? <laughs> What's so bad with dirt and stone? Well, they are really, really weak. If there's anything that happens on the surface, maybe there's too many zombies standing in one place, the roof might cave in, and then Mikey's family will be crushed. Oh, Louie, that will never happen. Oh, uh, well, we'll see about that, Pip. But anyways, it seems like you've added a lot of beds in this room, and also some TVs. At least you're thinking about Mikey's entertainment. He's going to be very happy in that room. Yep, and I also added Mikey and I's favorite room. Oh no, please don't tell me this is a bathroom. Why is the bath so dirty? It's not dirty, it's clean. Look, there's literally a shower right here. A shower that pours water into a dirt bathtub with no drain? It's just going to fill up with mud and then you'll be even dirtier. I, I love taking mud baths. Um, well... Pip, that's up to you, not up to me. But, Louie, before you go, look at this mirror. No. Who is that over there? Stop kissing Aww. yourself in the mirror! Oh! I hate when Pip does that, guys. What about you? Comment down below if you like when Pip kisses himself in the mirror! I like when I kiss myself in the mirror. Oh, no. Okay, listen, Pip, I'm going to work on JJ's base now. You just, um, enjoy your time down here. Uh, bye! Guys, Guys, that was so weird, but I'm finally back in my base, and it's time to start working on this bedroom. I know that I need an entertainment room. I think I might add a pool as well, and then I will add the beds. So this first section of this room is going to be the entertainment room. I'm just sectioning it off with a bunch of these stripped oak logs like this. 
This way, it holds the roof up and it will not cave in. I will put the door to the next room over here. And maybe I will add some glass for a window. I'll make it red as well, so that JJ likes it too. I'll make this window cover the entire wall. This looks amazing. I wish I could have windows inside of my house like this, instead of on the outside. Let's go ahead and put the window going all the way to the ground. This way, it looks really natural with the red floor. But now it's time for the entertainment side of the room. I'm going to add a flat screen TV onto the wall like this. And then I need a sofa. Just in case that I have JJ and Mikey's family down here, I'm going to make a red sofa. But then I'm also going to have a TV on the other side with a green sofa around it. This way, if I need to protect Mikey as well, Mikey will be nice and happy inside of my base too. Let's just turn these TVs on as well so that they can watch their favorite TV shows. I'm going to add a table over here with a PC on top. This way, both Mikey and JJ can play Minecraft together, sat right next to each other. Isn't that cool, guys? What are you watching this video on right now? Your PC or your TV? Anyways, guys, now I'm going to add some seats. One green one for Mikey and one red one for JJ. This will be for their sides of their setups. So this computer is for JJ and this computer is for Mikey. But now I'm going to add one more table over here. And this is for my favorite thing in the world, a Nintendo Switch. I'm going to place this green and red one down for JJ and Mikey's favorite colors, and they could play whatever Nintendo games they want. I love Mario Kart. But now, guys, my entertainment room is complete, and it's time for me to start working on the next room. And I think this room is going to be the pool room. This is where they will go for a swim if they ever want to enjoy themselves without their entertainment systems, like their TVs, PCs, and Nintendo Switches. Mikey is a really good swimmer, so JJ might not like this room, but I will build it just in case, because maybe JJ and Mikey love to go swimming together, and they just don't tell anybody about it. It might just be one of their biggest secrets. Let's also do another door like this. Also, section off this area here with some glass, so that they can see into the swimming pools wherever they are in the bunker. Now it's time to place in the glass too. This is so that they can see through and maybe from this room, see what their favorite show is doing on TV. And also see into the swimming pool room. Let's go ahead and start on the pool now. I'm going to dig out some space from maybe here to all the way at the end of the room. This is where the water will go. I think I'll have one section of the pool be a hot tub area and one section of the pool be a regular swimming area. So I'll make one area really deep and one area really shallow. This area will be for the hot tub, and I'll make it not too deep. I'll make it maybe three blocks deep like that. This should be all right. Let's just build it out of this really cool red wool like this. And now I need to fill it in with some water. So let's just build up some blocks like this to prevent the water from spilling around everywhere whilst it's in my base. And there we go. This is looking awesome. Now I can replace all of this red wool with air and I can get some tiles like this to put at the bottom of my swimming pool. I'll use these andesite tiles because these are the kind of tiles that you see in a swimming pool. Now it's time to work on the really deep pool. So I'm going to build it a lot more into the ground like this. This is where they will be able to do all of their professional swimming, like going down into the water and going scuba diving and all sorts of cool activities. All I have to do is now fill in this bottom area here with these tiles, just like this, to make sure that they don't cut themselves on any of this stone down here. And then I have to fill up the walls again with red wool. Like this. Isn't this just perfect, guys? Do you wish you had a swimming pool in your house? And if you do, is it awesome or what? But now that I'm finished with that, guys, I can set all of the area above it to water like this. And that is a finished swimming pool. I have the deep end for people who are good at swimming and going all the way to the bottom of the pool. And then I have the shallow hot tub for people who want to sit and enjoy their time. This will be JJ's favorite spot. 
But now it's time to do the bedroom. And I think I'm going to build this mainly for JJ. I'm going to do a nice big wall of books because I know that JJ loves to read. Let's just do an outline out of these logs and then fill it in with bookshelves. My favorite book ever is the How to Do Redstone in Minecraft book. That's the first book I ever read before I became a redstone genius. And there we go. We now have a large book area. I'm going to section off this room into a few pieces, though, like this, with these foundations of wood. This area, I'm going to add some glass to. You'll see why in a second. I'm going to be adding this as the floor for the second floor of my room. And then I'm going to add some wood like this with a ladder on it to climb up to the second floor of the bedroom. Now I'm going to get some beds like this, and this will be JJ's bed, like that. I'll make it three beds long as well, so he has plenty of space to toss and turn during the night. But now, what is a room without a bunch of storage space? If I had a Minecraft base and I had no storage, I'd be really upset. So I'm going to add a ton of storage to this room, just like this. This is where they will have everything they need, from golden apples to armor to weapons. And I think over here in this area is where I'll be putting my armory, just so that I can suit up and fight whenever I'm needed. That area over there will be the bedroom area, and this area will be for my armor and weapons. Let's just put some chests down right now. I'm going to go ahead and get some netherite armor, and this is what I can put in these chests. I'll also get a golden apple, because without golden apples, we might take a lot of damage. I'll fill up a whole chest of golden apples like this. And then I'll also get some armor stands too. This is what I'll be putting my armor on. But before I put my armor on the stand, I'm going to do an enchant command. And this will make it so that I can put any enchantment on my armor. I'm going to be using Protection 4. Because that is the strongest level of enchantment you can put on Minecraft armor, did you know? It is strong from explosions, mob attacks, and anything you will throw at it. It is basically the most strong armor in this entire game. And it glows like that too, which makes it double as good. Now all that's left is putting some weapons in this chest. So I'm going to put a netherite sword. I'm also going to get a bow and some arrows too. I'll fill up the rest of this space with the bows and the arrows. Perfect! But now, what is a secret bunker without a secret way out? This will be plan B in case things go wrong. I'm going to make a nice little tunnel coming out of the back over here. And then I will be using these emerald fans to blow me out of the top. This means that if any zombies try to jump in, they will just get blown back out. But if I need to escape, I could just jump onto these fans and it will send me out without having to worry about any zombies coming and eating JJ. I'll just clear out all of the space above it going to the outside with some admin commands. And boom, there we go. As you can see, the fans are down there and it takes us all the way out of our secret bunkers, all the way away from the zombie attack. It's going to be amazing. And now let me act like a zombie and jump down. If I jump in to try and eat JJ, I'll just get sent right back out. Perfect. And there we go, guys. We have my plan B to escape, my armory, and everything else in this bunker. We are extremely secure now. But now, just in case, inside of my laser room, I'll also add some spikes, just in case some zombies make their way down. Let me just go ahead and move JJ's family inside of my bunker. Okay, guys, so I got JJ's entire family inside of the secret bunker. And now, I think everything is ready. Louis, the zombies, they're here! Wait, what? I've been down here building this bunker for so long that I lost track of time. Let me check my camera monitors. Let's see here, and oh no, it seems like Pip really is right. Their base is under attack from all of these zombies. Louis, please, just, just help! All right, guys, it's time for me to help Pip. I can't believe it's already this late already. These zombies might kill us if we're not careful. Let's just make sure that I have all of my weapons at the ready. Let's grab some golden apples and get ready for the fight. Let's exit through my plan B over here. This is my plan B exit, and hopefully this doesn't kill me. Ow! All right, my base is over there, and the zombies are attacking. So let's see what the damage is, and oh no, they're outside. But they can't break in, because my iron is too strong. Let's eat a golden apple and get in there. We need to help Pip. Pip, I'm here to help you. Let me come inside of your base. There's probably some zombies in there. 
No, 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 there is. Oh, no. Get Pip. down here, quick. Wait a second. This is really bad, Pip. They're climbing down into your room. This is really, really bad. It's fine, Louie. They don't know how to climb down ladders anyways. But they know how to go through secret lava. Pip, we have to keep moving. Come on. Let's see how they get past this trap. Whoa, your secret water is working really well. But that zombie almost made it. Wait, Pip, I think they're jumping across. Are you kidding me? Wait, how did the zombies do that? I don't know, but this zombie invasion is getting really dangerous. We have to keep moving back. Hopefully your lasers are a strong enough defense to keep them away. Oh, wait, no, they're walking through your lasers, Pip. You have to be careful. Oh, Louis, I don't think my base is prepared for this. The zombies, they're breaking in. Don't worry, Pip. I have a netherite sword. I will not let them hurt you. Louis, I think that was the last of them. There's only two left. Um, do you mean three or uh, maybe four? It seems like there's a lot of them jumping down. Look, as you can see, they're all dropping in now. How did they get down here? I thought my base was secure. I don't know, Pip, but you have to tell me the secret code to this door. Uh, if we don't get it, we're gonna die. Uh, just, just read the book, Louis. It's in uh, this chest. I can't find the book. Oh, no, no, guys. This is really bad. Oh, wait. There's the book. What is the code? 1111, but backwards. Pip, that is just 1111. Come on, hurry. We should be safe down here now. Yeah, Pip, you have a really cool reinforced door, but the walls are made of dirt. Are you sure this is going to be strong enough? Of course it will, Louis. Louis, about that, turn around. No! How did they break through your super secure door, Pip? Are you kidding me? Come on, Louis, we have to go further in. Fast! Hurry! hurry. All oh, these zombies are really starting to come down. They're breaking in. The whole army seems to be getting into your base right now. It's not as secure as you said it was, Pip. Come on, Louis, just, just do the obby. Try not to hit any ducks. Louis, come on, we just gotta do the parkour. Just try not to hit the ducks. Oh, I'll try. Oh, I really hope the zombies can't do this as well. All right, it seems like they're jumping down into this duck pit and they're getting trapped. Nice work, Pip. Thank you, Louis. I'm such a pro. The zombies won't have any chance against us. Well, Pip, if you were a pro, those zombies wouldn't have gotten into your base in the first place. But whatever you say. Wait, Pip, it seems like the zombies can climb up the rocks on the side. This is really bad. Look, they can climb up and they will be getting Mikey's family anytime soon. It seems like the army's numbers are growing too. Wait, how are they doing that? I don't know. Maybe they're, they're multiplying or something. I don't know how they're doing it, but they are. The, your chickens are all running away, too. Louis, there's too many. We have to retreat. All right, Pip, come on. Let's get over here into Mikey's base. Where is it? Down here? Yep. All right, let's just hope and pray that the zombies don't get down here. Oh, no, they arrived. This is really, really bad, Pip. We're going to have to take Mikey's entire family out of here now. Louis, let's just go to your base instead. C come on. All right, mine is way more secure, Pip. Let's just hope Mikey's entire family follows us. Come on, let's run through these zombies and get back to my base. Run, 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 run. And whoa, there's so many zombies in here. It's crazy. I'm stuck in your lasers. Maybe I can just climb out now and go, go, go. I'm coming, Louie, but there's just so many zombies. Hurry up, Pip. I think I left you in the dust. Come on, just climb up the ladder. And I'm out. Come on, Pip, hurry. We don't have much time. Get inside of here before the zombies see. <laughs> and make sure to close the door behind you. Hurry up. Come on, come I on, will, come Louis. on. Go, 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 go. Follow me down my spiral staircase. We're going to have to be really careful not to trigger any of my traps and get to the secret bunker. Hopefully none of the zombies will get down here. I doubt it, Pip. But anyways, let's get through this trap right here. All you have to do is stand in the empty spots right here. Wait, Pip. Are you kidding me? I think I'm a just zombie gonna go made for it down. It. We have to run. No, no, no. I didn't know we'd have to go through my own traps already. Oh, no, Pip. It seems like the zombies made it down. Did you forget to shut the door? Uh, I, I, I might have. I oh, can't remember. Oh, no, Pip. Come on. Hurry up. You need to follow my lead on this trap. Follow all of these orange blocks and do not mess up once, okay? Come on, we need to hurry. The zombies are setting off all of the traps and falling into the lava now. We need to run. Look, all of those zombies are now just walking in a straight line and falling into my trap. 
This is perfect! This is a really strong trap, Louis. How did you make this? Well, it was blood, sweat, and tears. But as you can see, when something steps on those, it drops them into the lava and kills them! Oh, hopefully those zombies won't be able to make it over here. I don't know, Pip. It seems like they're able to smell us, though. They're climbing down the stairs at an alarming rate. Watch out, Pip. It seems the whole zombie apocalypse is coming down here. And that little baby almost figured out my trap. All right. Hopefully they don't realize what's going on now and they all fall in. Look, it's working like a charm. They're all just jumping straight into the lava and dying. This trap is the best one so far. Oh, these zombies are so dumb. I know, right? Hopefully these zombies won't be able to figure out my trap and... Oh no, it seems like they are. With enough of them, it seems like they're getting smarter and smarter. They're just walking along my trap and managing to get one pressure plate further every single time. It won't be long until they get here, Pip. We have to be quick. Maybe we should go down my dropper now. Wait, what's over here, Louie? It's a dropper, Pip. And we have to jump into that water down there or else we're doomed, okay? Let's do it. Those zombies are getting closer and closer. We do not have long. Oh, no, Pip. I think they made it. Come on. We have to hurry. Jump down into the dropper down below into the water. Boom. And we're Come in. On! Hurry. All right. Hopefully those zombies just all jump down and they all die. All right, Pip. Now we're down here. It looks like the whole zombie army is here too. Oh, let's hope this dropper works. And look, they're piling themselves all the way down and falling into my spikes. These zombies are so dumb. They have no idea how a dropper even works. Wait, this is such a smart trap, Louie. How did you think of this? Well, it's just a little bit something called being a pro, Pip. I wish I was a pro. This base is so good. Oh, don't beat yourself up, Pip. One day you'll have a base as good as this. I just know it. But Louie, can't we just wait here now until all the zombies tire themselves out? Of course we can, Pip. We can wait here until the whole zombie army jumps down and dies. And then we will have survived the night. Oh, that sounds like a great idea, Louie. Five minutes later. Louie, I think that's the last of them. I know, Pip. There's been less and less zombies coming every so often now. And I think that was just the last one that fell. Wait, does that mean that we survived? Well, first, we have to check up on our families to make sure that they're safe. Let's just check if JJ and Mikey's families are okay. Okay, so Mikey's family is down here with all of my storage and books. And JJ's family is up here. And they're nice and safe. Now, we just need to check if it's still nighttime. And if it is, that means the zombies are still coming. And if it isn't, that means we survived. Come on, Pip. Let's go see. Okay, so our bases are just over here. And look, it's daytime. We totally just survived the night. We did it. As you can see, we worked together to fight off the zombie invasion. And my secret bunker was the base that did it. Oh, Louie, our faces are always the best when we work together. I know, Pip. But if you guys enjoyed that video, make sure to like, subscribe, and press the video on your screen. Let's go!